we want to solve the given equation, which means we want to find the value of the variable that satisfies the equation or makes the equation true. To do this, we need to isolate the variable on one side of the equation. The first step is to simplify the left side of the equation by clearing the parentheses. And because we have four minus three times the quantity, negative six x plus three, to clear the parentheses, we need to think of distributing a negative three. Again, we distribute a negative three because of the subtraction. This gives us four and then negative three times a negative six x is positive 18 x, giving us plus 18 x. And then negative three times positive three is negative nine, giving us minus nine, which is equal to seven x plus three. Still simplifying the left side of the equation, we combine like terms, four minus nine is negative five. The left side simplifies to negative five plus 18 x equals seven x plus three. The next step is to add or subtract to isolate the variable terms on one side of the equation. Notice right now we have 18 x on the left and seven x on the right. Let's undo the seven x by subtracting seven x on both sides. Simplifying, we have negative five and then 18 x minus seven x is 11 x giving us plus 11 x equals on the right, seven x minus seven x is zero. The right side simplifies to three. We still need to add or subtract to isolate the verbal term. To isolate the 11 x, we need to undo the negative five by adding five to both sides of the equation. Simplifying, negative five plus five is zero. The left side simplifies to 11 x which is equal to three plus five, which is eight. The last step is to multiply or divide to solve for x. And since 11 x means 11 times x, to undo the multiplication and solve for x, we divide both sides by 11. Simplifying 11 divided by 11 simplifies to one, one times x is x. We have x equals eight elevenths. X equals eight elevenths is the solution to the equation. Let's verify this satisfies the equation by substituting eight elevenths for x in the left side of the equation and the right side of the equation to make sure the two sides are equal. And let's do this using the calculator. On the left side we have four minus three, open parenthesis, negative six times eight elevenths, which we enter as eight divided by 11, and then plus three, close parenthesis, enter. Let's convert this to a fraction by pressing math, enter, enter. So the left side of the equation is equal to 89 elevenths, and now let's substitute 8 elevenths for x on the right side, which would give us seven times 8 elevenths plus three, enter. Convert to a fraction by pressing math, enter, enter. And we can see when x equals 8 elevenths, the two sides of the equation are equal, which verifies the solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.